Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Dre Soul here to give you more crypto blockchain web three news and updates for your head top. So today we're gonna be talking about crypto gaming, blockchain gaming, and everything gaming within the crypto industry. Now gaming is one of the biggest industries that everyone should have their radars on. The reason why is because gaming is the one industry and cryptocurrency that will bring the masses. And the reason why is because everyone knows gaming already. Everyone has played Nintendo, played PlayStation, Xbox, been to Dave and Buster's or Andretti or Fun Zone or Chuck E. Cheese and what have you. Stocks became super popular because it was gamified with Robin Hood. Gamification makes everything fun. Everyone loves gaming. I'm sure you had your little cousins come up to you and ask to play games on your phone. I'm sure. Now, gaming is that industry that's going to bring the masses because it is already something that everyone knows. It is already a thriving industry, right? Now, within crypto, of course, as you know, there's tons of coins. There's tons and tons of coins. And even in the gaming sector, there's tons of different gaming sectors. But this video is going to help you with actually categorizing and you know building a strategy and being able to organize all the different gaming cryptocurrency coins or projects right so i strongly believe these particular projects are going to explode not just 10 times not 20 times but even 50 times right if you think about back during the last bull run some of the coins that went crazy were Sandbox and Decentraland. And the gaming industry has definitely, definitely improved since that. That is not the future of gaming. Sandbox and Decentraland is not the future of gaming. Uh, I'm here to tell you that. Don't get me wrong. There are some good projects that don't for the whole metaverse. But there is more to the gaming industry and crypto than just those two projects. Now, for long-term investing... We want to look into a few places. We want to look at gaming infrastructure. We want to look at gaming companies, look at the products and then the actual games themselves. And then we could talk about like NFT assets and, and all that good stuff. Right now, it's all about nonsense hype. It's all about the nonsense hype. It's people are just going to pour money into hype. Think about Dogecoin. Think about Shiba. People just care about hype. Uh, these categories, niches, narrative sectors are set to explode. And here are the coins and the various, you know, crypto games and so on and so forth within those industries. Now, not in any particular order. You know, this is just education. I'm not telling you to go ahead and go buy these coins and just go ape into these coins. But just to give you some ideas of where you should probably put your focus and your energy. So first up, let's talk about infrastructure. So the infrastructure theme is the foundational layer of the gaming industry. Infrastructure is super important because it's going to be the place where everything is running on, where everything runs. So when it comes to infrastructure, you got a few key players in that whole infrastructure ecosystem. And again, infrastructure is the foundational layer where things are being built. The nuts and bolts, the actual foundation of the gaming ecosystem so number one you got engine engine coin engine is an og in the gaming space and they're said to be one of the first to create nfts so on and so forth next you got ronin network now ronin network is actually the network behind axie infinity axie infinity is one of those games that went crazy during the last bull run with the whole play to earn theme Play to earn, meaning you're pretty much playing and you're earning cryptocurrency. Axie Infinity, although it's a very basic game, it went crazy because in places like Korea, people were able to replace their nine to five and just play these games and make enough money to feed their family. And all that took place on the Ronin network. So I'm sure Ronin has a lot more tricks up their sleeve. Next, we got Vulcan Forge. Now, Vulcan Forge is creating its own layer um, becoming a self-sustaining and self-dependent uh, entity. Uh, they control their own destiny, free from the whims and fluctuations of any other external networks. Now, Vulcan Forge is pretty dope. It's a gaming studio that has tons of games coming out. 
Yeah. Next, we got Veracity. Veracity is another noteworthy uh, cryptocurrency project to look into. Veracity is used in the streaming aspect and the infrastructure for gaming content viewers as the world becomes more virtual and gaming content consumption surges. Veracity is destined to become more in demand. Think about uh, Twitch. Think about even on YouTube. Some of the biggest videos with the most views are gaming videos. Now, another infrastructure play is ad shares. Now, ad shares is really dope in my opinion, because when you think about uh, crypto gaming, you think about gaming in general, advertisement is a big industry that's untapped, right? Um, when we think about the metaverse and gaming and whatnot, if you are a pioneer in that ad space, you are destined to <laughs> make tons of money and just be a, a super dominant player. Then we got Altura. Altura is another key player in the infrastructure category. It is setting the stage for how games utilize NFTs and upgrade them, adding a new dimension to in-game economies, right? So smart NFTs. These are NFTs that can get upgraded. These are NFTs that can change and be sold and whatnot. So it's allowing people to actually take value out of these games. When we think about all these games that we put energy into, we even put money into it to get these gaming assets, whether it's vehicles or gear or weapons, things like that. But then we walk away with no money at the end of the day. But with Altura and with NFTs in the gaming space, it's going to allow you to actually extract value. So say, for instance, I'm a top player with a particular NFT, whether that be my weapon or my suit or my vehicle. I could then sell sell that on the marketplace to somebody else and they'll get all the history of that NFT. Uh, but then I'll get paid out in whatever currency whatever platform that's on, whether that's Ethereum, whether that's Avalanche, whether that's Solana, so on and so forth. Now, the next big thing to look into after infrastructure is the actual companies. So companies like Blizzard, Activision, making a universe of of games, right? Uh, I really don't think you need to be invested in individual games, but that's just my opinion. Uh, This is not financial advice, but if you want to invest in individual games, by all means, do that as well. But I think studios are a good play because you don't have to worry about that one hit game. They're just going to be dishing out tons of games and they may have a couple of hit games. Right. So we have Remark. Remark. So Remark says that they're pushing NFTs further. They allow you to build NFT systems on any level of complexity with the Remark NFT standard, and it's designed for seamless cap- compatibility across different collections. So they're allowing you to unlock real potential of NFTs. Uh, the Remark system allows you to put NFTs inside of an NFT, equip an NFT to another, create multiple file outputs in one and more. And this standard will allow for cross collection and chain compatibility in a true decentralized fashion so remark is pretty dope next we have on the list when it comes to companies we got apecoin now apecoin is dope you gotta have this one on your radar because yuga labs is behind apecoin now everyone knows the board ape yacht club nft that was probably one of the most popular nfts next to uh crypto punks right Everyone was like, why are celebrities paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a freaking ape picture? And then you had a lot of other ape NFTs trying to be like the Board 8 Yacht Club. But the Board 8 Yacht Club base C is the OG. And the ape coin is the coin that is for that ecosystem. Now, if you know if you want to know one thing about cryptocurrency, what makes crypto thrive is culture. Culture, hype nonsense hype is what allows crypto to thrive so apecoin is definitely a big culture play in my opinion so it's definitely one to have on your radar now gala gala games is another super unique play to earn mechanism for virtual assets allowing ownership and 
their, their model is dope. It's a, it's going to allow for, for widespread adoption and increased demand, potentially driving its value up 50 times. And the reason why is because they have Gala Games, Gala Music, and Gala Movies. You got people like Snoop Dogg, who is now the CEO of Death Row, tapping into Gala and saying that he's going to you know create some projects with them as well. So Gala is definitely one to keep on your radar. Now, although we mentioned Vulcan Forge as infrastructure, Vulcan Forge is a company as well. It's a decentralized uh, gaming company uh, shaping the future of gaming. And, you know, these are it is one of the key players and it does have potential to, to skyrocket as well. Now, Vulcan Forge, um, their integration of blockchain technology and gaming art and decentralized finance has created a diverse ecosystem that is sure to gain some sustainable profits in the future. And next we have Ultra. Ultra offers uh, direct player interactions to its users. This feature has positioned it as a promising solution with the potential to reshape the gaming industry. Then we have uh, Decentral Games. Decentral Games appears to take the win in the gaming companies according to some people, because it is the pioneer of decentralized gambling, right? It's a decentralized gambling platform that allows users to earn in-game assets and participate in a unique virtual world. It is expected to skyrocket in 2024 and 2025. So people are betting big on decentralized games as well. Next is Sandbox. Sandbox is probably one of the most popular in the gaming space because the whole metaverse uh, theme back in 2021 that had everyone going crazy. Sandbox was like at the forefront of that. Snoop Dogg has also partnered with Sandbox as well. You got other, um, you know, musicians like Dead Mouse and a lot more other people partnering with Sandbox. Even The Walking Dead has a virtual world and sandbox as well. So it's like a giant digital playground where people can play, create, own, and even trade virtual assets. And it, this is really dope. Sandbox is huge. Sandbox is really huge. And then an, another competitor, which is very similar to sandbox, probably doesn't look as good as sandbox. It looks a little outdated, but we have Decentraland. The Central Land is another virtual reality platform powered by the Ethereum blockchain. You can create experiences and monetize content and applications in this world. So it's pretty dope. Then we have D-Race. D-Race is a decentralized blockchain horse racing game. Your NFT would actually be a horse and you can race your horse and win money and now, the next game is probably the most anticipated game because it is one of the first AAA games. And when I say AAA, meaning it's at a high level. Think of like Grand Theft Auto. Think of like Call of Duty. Think of like Final um, Fantasy. Think about uh, Tomb Raider. You know, that level, um, Uncharted, you know, that, that level of gameplay, that level of graphics. And this one is Alluvium. Luvium is really dope. During the last bull run, Luvium skyrocketed, made a lot of people a lot of money and a lot of gains. In the Luvium world, it is the first interoperable blockchain game. It offers a unique blend of open world exploration, NFT uh, creature collection, and an auto battler gameplay positioning it as an innovative and promising project within the blockchain gaming industry. Now, right now, it has a market cap of nearly 155 million. So now, imagine the potential rise in its price in just the next few years. Now, th that one's definitely going to blow up. Uh, the next one is Axie Infinity. This is one that I was talking about before, which uh, resides on the Ronin network. Axie Infinity has the potential to see significant growth in the next year, next coming years. It's a unique combination of traditional online gaming and blockchain technology, making it a standout player in a lucrative uh, play to earn gaming market. Play to earn, pretty much, you're playing to earn some money. Now, next is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is considered to be 
the most anticipated game on the Solana blockchain. Uh, it is the AAA game that's going to be on Solana. Um, it's mind blowing fusion of advanced blockchain tech and an expansive galactic metaverse, inviting players to dive in and discover, you know, the world of the Star Atlas and earn real rewards within this limitless uh, virtual universe. So that's pretty dope. Now, each of these games brings a unique angle to the world of gaming and crypto, making them potentially lucrative investments. But if you ask some of the top gaming investors, the best options is usually to go into a gaming studio. But if so, if one was to pick out of all of this, Alluvium might be their first pick because it is that AAA game. Uh, if you look it up. Alluvium looks really dope. Uh, I would actually want to play that game. So that might be the top, but these are all different options. They all have something different that they're bringing to the table. So they should all be on your radar, technically, in my opinion. Now, again, I said that wasn't in any particular order. That was just some examples of some games or some crypto tokens or some coins that fall within those different niches of the gaming niche. So again, you have like your infrastructure plays, you have your gaming studios, the actual games, you have the NFTs that's going to bring this whole thing full circle and allow you to have gaming assets and in-game assets and be able to trade your gaming assets and, and, and whatnot. Now, these are not probably the best uh options in the gaming industry as far as gains is concerned uh, some of these are older coins that are from past previous bull cycles and in cryptocurrency people are always looking for the new thing so this video isn't really about the coins that i'm invested in is just to give you an idea of how to break down the gaming system so you understand how to look at these gaming coins if you plan on investing in gaming yourself now i'll make another video about the gaming coins that i personally have in my portfolio and i'll make another one on uh, the gaming coins that i think have real true potential to be standout games or gaming studios or just gaming projects in general but again this is this is just to give you an idea of how to break down the industry because again Every day, a new coin is coming out. People are making coins left and right like nobody's business. And it's good to be able to stay abreast of what's going on and be able to understand the different niches of crypto. Right. So, again, this is your boy, Dre La Soul, here to give you more crypto, blockchain and Web3 news, info and opinions for your head top. Drop a comment. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share this with somebody that you know is a gamer. Share this with somebody that you know is in cryptocurrency. Or share this with anybody that you know that wants to make some bread. You feel me? But all in all, here to give you some education. This is not financial advice in any way, shape, or form. But yo, stay tuned for the next one. We out.